Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech This is Brandy's coming back to you guys today with episode 4 of Quest for Perfection and this time I am testing keyboards because you guys requested in the last episode for me to test keyboards, test response times and also test PST versus USB and which has the better response times. So I did that today and I did the methodology I used was a little bit weird because I couldn't find a program specifically for testing keyboard response times. Uh, so what I did was I took matters into my own hands, I got a reaction test off the web and then I used it with the enter key and I pitted this first candidate we had here was, and I did it a hundred times, so I tested it a hundred times uh, to weed out any inaccuracies. I mean even though there will be inaccuracies, I still weeded out as much as I could by testing it a hundred times. Uh, the first candidate here is the Microsoft Ergonomic Natural Keyboard. Now this is a standard deal, it's 125 hertz polling or 8 milliseconds response time. And I tested this with MSI's gaming USB port versus the normal USB port. So this is basically a test to find out if MSI's gaming port lives up to its hype. Uh, the next test I did more specifically was the my mechanical keyboard. Now this keyboard has the option with a PS2 adapter. So I could test more specifically USB versus PS2. So this was great. This was a keyboard that was great for doing that. And in the process of testing these two keyboards, I actually found out um, something that was unexpected, and I'll get to that at the end of the video. But let's get on to the results here. The first was the gaming port versus the normal port. Now I did 100 tests, and you know I did it without any bias. I just looked, wait for the green light, bang, wait for the green light, bang. So, And as we can see here, the gaming port was actually the first port that I tested, and I averaged 252 milliseconds uh, over 100 tests. The next time I did it, the normal port was 257. So this makes me believe that the MSI gaming port is legit. It actually does work, so it does provide a benefit. So if you guys have a normal keyboard or a normal mouse, you can get that extra 8 or so milliseconds out of the gaming port, which is actually really good. I'm impressed with MSI that they actually give it, they deliver a product that works. Uh, the next part here is the PS2 versus the USB. So this is another, again, 100 tests. And what I found here, like this is again, variance. So USB on the gaming port, it averaged 232 uh, milliseconds over 100 tests. This is on my mechanical blues. And the PS2 averaged 234 milliseconds. So again, what I've concluded here now is basically that USB at one millisecond or a thousand hertz polling versus PS2, there really is no difference. Uh, at best, one millisecond because in my you know, in my tests here, it didn't really make a difference. Um, what did make a difference, though, as you could see here, the uh, 234 versus say the 252, there was a 16 millisecond difference between keyboards. And now, what this has to do, and this is my conclusion, is that basically the actuation point on the keyboard is more important than the actual PS2 versus the USB itself. So with my uh, with my mechanical keyboard, the actuation point is pretty high. So as I click the key, it actuates faster than the rubber domes do on the ergonomic. And the ergonomic, when I press it down, basically it's only actuating when I fully press it down. So you guys can see that uh, basically, if you guys are gamers, you will want a keyboard that has really high actuation points. So I believe the Cherry MX Reds are possibly the best then, in conclusion. However, it will, it will, it will uh, differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. I will say that my Cherry MX Blues are my game is my gaming keyboard at the moment. So this is my gaming keyboard, and it does provide a benefit over my Microsoft Ergonomic keyboard. However, my Microsoft Ergonomic keyboard is still a really insanely good keyboard for you know just typing when I gotta type a lot of you know words out uh, it's, an, it's a phenomenally good keyboard and actually really is good for your wrist so I do recommend ergonomic keyboards if you guys are working on your computers a lot anyway in conclusion I will say yes so the actuation points are more important than the USB versus the PS2 this is my conclusion this is my results I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, please let me know in the comment section below what the next episode would be, what would, you, what would you guys like me to test, and what would you like me to see. And also, I'm going to say now is that, yeah, Tech Yes City has the passion, baby. I'm going to go listen to some Billy Joel, We Didn't Start the Fire. I'm going to get my stereo cranked, uh, you know, going back to the 80s. I love 80s music. So I guess if I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City, where this place is just going to keep on growing. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, peace out for now. Brain easy, bye.